I'm here on the homestead. Thanks for tuning in today. I didn't own a mule before Charlie. He's my first one. So all these things I learned on my own. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. One thing I like about mules is they can have the donkey part. They're very lovey-dovey and I I like that connection that I have with Charlie. He shows me love. Mules have quiet strength. They don't show off their strength, but it's in there. They're kind of more humble, and you look at them and you think, hmm, you know, it doesn't look like it's too much wow, but once they start performing, you know, pulling, riding, jumping, running a little, then you're like, wow, <laughs> it's a big deal. Another thing about mules that you need to know is they do funny little mouth things. If you watch Charlie, now they're all a little different. Some will just yawn and stick out their tongue. Some will, you know, lift their lips up. They all do funny little mouth things. They have a big stretchy mouth. It's a little different than a horse mouth and just the way they move it and use it and they have giant teeth bigger than a horse teeth when i first got them i was worried and i was almost like oh what's that you know what's that going on there but then you just see other mules and you just realize it's just kind of a characteristic that mules have because you know i love them so much mules don't like impatient rushy pushy people they like calm gentle patient leaders I still need to be a leader, but mules like a nice, gentle leader. They don't need like a cowboy, yeah, yeah. They do not, they don't respond well to that at all. And they just, they just don't have like a quick and snappy response like a horse does. I notice Charlie will do anything I say. He's actually obedient. He just, it took me time to realize he just does it slower. You know, a horse you say back and a lot of horses are like, they'll just, Whereas in Charlie, when I say back up, he just like goes, <laughs> he's like, okay. He, he's obedient. He just is calm and slow about it, which really that's what I like about the mules is they have calm, slow strength. Another thing I learned about mules is they don't eat like horses. I don't feed Charlie the same as I feed my horse. I feed him like a donkey because they're desert animals. I don't want my mule to be a big fat mule. Like where they look fat, if you look at him, is below. When I first got Charlie, I would see his A-frame back here and I would think, oh, he looks skinny. He looks like he might need more weight on him. But no, that is the way a mule is built. They take after the donkey and that's perfectly normal. This brings me to my next point. A mule needs a mule saddle because they have the same skeleton as a donkey. Also, their shoulder operates differently. It operates like a donkey shoulder, which is different than a horse shoulder. I own a lot of different saddles. I've tried a million different saddles on Charlie, and it, they just don't work properly. You just never get a really good fit. You wanna get a good fit if you really wanna ride and you know, go riding out in the trails and stuff. So I just have to get a mule saddle for Charlie. Please click the like button. It really does help me a lot. I want to see if we can get to 5,000 likes. If you like my videos, there's more right here. Watch them. A big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I love you so much. Mm, to all of you. I couldn't do it without you.